Well, the rent keeps going up. I want to get out of this storage unit. It's partially video gear that only gets used occasionally, like my mini jib for tabletop. And this used to be a B-roll money-making machine before the small gimbals and mirrorless cameras took over. Uh, I haven't used that. I think the last time was in Miami, like a year and a half ago, maybe longer. So I'm kind of thinking maybe it's time to put that up for sale. Yeah, that's also this case right here and those weights down there. A uh, couple power tools, power washer, power snake. I have a wood chipper that's not here at the moment. Surfboard, some coolers and furniture pads and an old beta deck that uh, I need to give that away. I think it's still functional. An Amazon prompter purchase that uh, was a piece of junk, but might be good for vlogging if I ever make a home studio. Some filters, battery cases, soft top for my Jeep, which I'm never going to use, need to get rid of. But I'm here for this case and we'll get into it when I get back to the house. Sunday, 6.30 in the morning, I'm in the shower and all kinds of commotion, dog barking. Turns out my shed was on fire. Came out here in my underwear covered in soap and this tree was up in flames. Six feet of fence here, about eight or 10 feet of this and another six, maybe four feet on the other side. Just a tea of fire. And at that point my neighbor had his garden hose going to extinguish the fence. I stretched this hose out and got it going but it came up a little short and then there were these two ladies in medical scrubs that appeared and they had stretched my this hose from my side yard and helped it out and we got the flames out just as the fire department arrived bit of a mystery as to the cause I had a two gallon gas can right there lawnmower no other fuel sources no rags or anything and it's just kind of a mystery why that popped off at just before sunrise but uh, that's got me going on replacing this fence. The old one was pretty rotten. I've read in several small business books that you want to understand what your value is in time, your hourly rate, and anything that's below that, you should be hiring out, staffing up. So in the case of replacing a fence, it would make sense for me to hire someone to do it. Except when you're a freelancer, you know, I go weeks at a time without working and I'd rather just take my time and replace the fence versus trading shoot days for fence days. So I replaced this section at the beginning of the summer and I've been waiting for it to cool down and now with the fire I'm four days in doing about 16 feet a day of fence and my rear wall, this is a retaining wall and it's a 21 foot drop to the neighbor's yards. It's a long ways. So a uh, quote the neighbor got from a fencing contractor was $40 per linear foot, materials and labor. And I can do all three sides of my yard. Uh, it was $1,050 in lumber delivered. And now it's just my labor. My son's been helping, the neighbor's helping, my wife's helping. So I'm just knocking it out a little bit at a time here. My back is sore, so I took a day off today and, and it rained, but we'll resume on this tomorrow. Sony FX9 with the 28 to 135 zoom versus Sony EX3 15 year leap in technology. I'm curious specifically for shooting B roll and bump shots for news. If I can't just going forward use my old trusty EX3, I've got two of them. And it's got a mechanical zoom with iris focused auto or mechanical on the ring behaves very similar to the 28 to 135. The servo speed and responsiveness is about the same. I would say on both the slowest slow and they have that mechanical start stop unlike a, a broadcast lens. But anyway, they, they essentially behave the same. This is a half inch three chip camera versus a full frame single chip 12X optical zoom versus the 28 to 135. So I'm thinking if I go back down to the border and I'm just doing B-roll, my a camera here is just getting hammered out in the 100 degree sun, the powdery dust. This thing almost got taken out by the water truck on my last trip down there. So instead of continuing to put hours and abuse on my main camera, why not use an old EX3? It makes a great picture. I still see news crews out there running EX1s and EX3s. I'm happy with it. It's a 35 megabit XDCAM EX codec. Many broadcasters have used that. Back in the day, they used to say you needed a 50 megabit codec to be 
broadcast approved, but I don't think anyone really cares nowadays. It all looks good. Okay, so here's a shot down the street of my neighbor's house. Zoomed in all the way, FX9, and that's in 5K sensor mode. I cannot shoot 6K scan in uh, broadcast frame rate, 5994i. It's really 30i, but uh, basically 60 fields a second is what the news organizations want. So I gotta run in 5K, and then we can crop into 4K to get a little closer. And then 2K gets a little soft, but I've been using it, again, for news. If it's about getting, capturing the action versus missing it, a touch soft is totally acceptable. So that's what it looks like, 2K all the way in. Now if I jump over, zoomed in all the way on this 12X, I would say that is essentially the same magnification. Here, let's go back over to the FX9. Viewfinders are about the same size. Yeah, I'd say it's the same. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna add this to the van for news gigs. I won't do interviews or live shots with it, but for these B-roll and bump shot assignments, I'm gonna put the hours on the old EX3 and keep my FX9 out of the dust. And conveniently, it runs on the same batteries as the FX9, which I think is the same as the FX3, and, oh, sorry, FX, six and i think it's tilta makes a gold mount adapter for the fx6 it's like a hundred dollars so i'm gonna put a hundred dollars into this old camera so i can run gold mount and uh, maybe you'll see this out in the field on a future assignment question for my viewers this xd cam ex codec used to work in final cut x and with my current version I can no longer import those clips. The codec's not recognized, so I had to use Catalyst Browse to convert them. I did some Googling on in Sony website trying to find the XDCAM EX codec for Final Cut. I installed what I found, but it still doesn't work. If you know of a codec or a way for me to get this footage to natively play in the current Final Cut X, please let me know. So here's another thought. If the EX3 ends up working out well, I could pick up one of these used Fujinon B4 two thirds inch adapters. It's been a long time since I've seen one of these, but uh, as I recall, it's got an optic in it that does a little bit of uh, magnification correction to get a two thirds inch circle closer to half inch, but I don't think it's a one to one translation. The lenses are still a little bit more telephoto, which actually would work to my advantage for this specific application. And then it's got power, so I would have auto iris and servo control. And then the older Canon 17 by 7.6, this is a lens I spent a bunch of time shooting on. They're going for a couple hundred dollars less, maybe $500 less than the Fujinon equivalent, but I mean, $1,700, uh, not bad. So I figure for under two grand, well, no, it'd be a little over, to, I call it, well, whatever that math is, 2300 $2,400. That would get me up to, what is that? 34 X 17 times two. Yeah. 34 times magnification. So 12 X on that window frame, you know, I could punch in another 1.5 times tighter frame, but for spending over $2,000, I think I would rather have in my kit 200 to 600, which I've used a couple times and really like it's nice and lightweight. And the speed doesn't bother me, 5.663, because of, uh, yeah, the newer cameras are so light sensitive, and it's not like I want to shoot at a 2.8 at 600 mil. And realistically, I'm probably not going to go past about 400 outdoors, just because you get the atmosphere starts lowering the contrast of the image. We had these out on uh, an aircraft shoot a couple months ago. And uh, yeah, they work great. But on for the video, I had a still photographer on this lens. And then I had the Sigma version shooting video FX9. And I only, yeah, I went to about 400. And I think I had the FX9 set in 4K mode. So cropping in a little bit. But yeah, 600, too hazy. Like many of you, I've been calculating what to sell and what to save to invest in the new Burano Cine Alta class of digital cinema camera, but you know what? I don't need to. I already have one. Look at that. 